Okay, great morning. So what happened yesterday? Remember, I was supposed to go over to find out about supplies, what could be ordered from the VA for my ostomy supplies. And I get there, and my ostomy nurse that's supposed to have the answers doesn't have any answers. <laughs> She's saying, well, you could also order them from Medicare, Medicaid. And, uh, but then if you order from Medicare, Medicaid, they have limits on what they are going to send. And then in a year, you have to go through another evaluation, etc. cetera. Um, and once you're in the VA system, you're in the VA system. You don't go through that again but she's got no idea about what supplies. Nope, don't know, don't know. But she's going to find out today, so she will be calling me and we will be touching base as to, you know, what's possible to be ordered, what's not, etc. cetera. Um, so, you know, again, uh, it hasn't been solved. <laughs> <laughs> oh, why can't something be simple and straightforward and no, never. So anyway, I went in to see her. They also did my wound care. It's still, you know, draining like mad. I've got those three open wounds where the surgeon had to reopen it, drain it, drain it, etc. And they did get back the results of the tests that they took and there is a bit of yeast yeast uh, going on inside the wound which they said it's not surprising you have yeast on your skin and then I was on those antibiotics for how long um, okay so I am on some antifungal medication for the next three days um, and so that should help to clear it up. They gave me another thing that you have to, where's my other thing? Here's all my supplies for taking care of my wound. Yes, more, more supplies, more supplies. Yeah, I get to take care of it again, you know. Sticking some stuff in this. This is Hydrofera. It's an, I've got one that's an antibacterial thing that I have to put inside of the wound. I have to stuff it. And then I have another thing that they were having me put inside the wound before to pack it. Now I just cover it with it. But this is the other stuff that I have. What is this called? Fibrocol Plus. It's a collagen wound dressing with alginate. So this is what I have to stick inside of the wounds. Yeah. I have to stick those inside the wounds and then cover it up with this. Uh, with this. Hydrofera dressing, which they were having me put inside the wound last time. Now I'm just covering the wound with this. But I only have to change it every other day, so I change it tomorrow morning again. And so hopefully this will be it, and it will be <laughs> on the mend finally. Uh, so once that gets healed up, I will be feeling much better because it is still um, anything that touches it, it's uh, painful. So hopefully this does it and uh, it's finally going to start to heal and mend. And here's all my coverings and I'm looking like a pharmacy here. My one bathroom is all dedicated to ostomy supplies. 
<laughs> Half my table over here is wound care supplies. Oh my lord. But we finally, um, some more saline and uh, all this other stuff that I have to have. But we are starting to finally get answers. They did find out that there was something there. Then it is, uh, you know, so they did give me some medication for that. And hopefully that will do it. I have three days of medication. And then I guess it stays in your system for quite some time. I have been taking lots of probiotics as well. Um, three different types of probiotics I'm taking. Um, so, yeah, this should be clearing up, hopefully. <laughs> hopefully, soon. So that's what's going on with the wound care center and, uh, you know, just trying to finally get this stuff ordered. And uh, like I said, I'm still up in the air with it. So we'll find out. We'll find out what she she can find out today. <laughs> Nothing but but fun, yeah. Uh, anyway, uh, but that that's what's happening on that front. Oh, and announcement: not this Saturday, but the following Saturday. Uh, I'm gonna try to uh, go back and do the Hoga Lee show. I do miss them. I have been in contact with Hoagie. And, uh, you know, I, I, I think at first he didn't understand how serious this was. <laughs> you know, he didn't get what all was going on, you know that I'm hospitalized and hospitalized and hospitalized and taking celery juice is not going to clear this up. You know, he's always, always telling me, oh, you need to take all these vegetable juices and all that. Well, they're not going to clear up what's going on with me. <laughs> it's not going to heal an ostomy, okay? <laughs> so anyway, I explained to him why I'm thinking about keeping the ostomy because I'm still trying to heal from the first one um, and to repair, to hook everything back up. It's another major operation. It's not a loop where they just, you know, the loop is easy. If they do the two loops, it's real quick. It's not a major thing. Uh, they go in and it's, you know, hook it up and, and you're done real quickly. With this, no, it's a big major operation. And I would be healing again three to six months like I am now. I would have to go through all of that again. Uh, reopen everything, another 12-inch opening there. Yeah, no. No. And then, like I said, in there, there were some things that couldn't be repaired. And so um, it just, uh, in reading the surgery, everything was done surgically and knowing that everything in there was friable, you know, you touch it, it bleeds, and, and that it's like, mm, yeah, no. No, I think there could be too many complications again that arise from it. So at this point, I'm leaning towards the inclination of keeping the ostomy rather than having to go through another big major operation. And we know how well I love hospitals and uh, just the difficulty in finding a vein and then in the hospital, all the stuff that they're doing, you know, 24, 7. Yeah, no, I just like, no, I can't. Uh-uh. Uh-uh. <laughs> I can't. I don't want to go through that again. <laughs> I'm definitely not prepared for that. And then again, the same things with the puppies. 
you know, I'm healing again. I can't take them anywhere. We can't do anything. And they're gypsy puppies. They want to G-O. I can't say the word because they're sitting right next to me. Even even spelling it, Miss Lily's up there looking at me. What? What did you say? Did you say that? Dude. <laughs> yeah. So again, you know, not quite to the point of being able to go out and spend the whole night and everything while this wound is open and still draining and all of that going on. Um, maybe when my wounds here are healed up, then I, I will be in a better, um, you know, then I can have things touching me that are not hurting. Yeah, but as long as I still have open wounds, it's uh, painful to, to have anything touching them. You know, that's why I have these things that I bought because it's really lightweight and it's not pushing on there. But to wear uh, my jeans or anything like that, even the pregnancy pants that I got and things, Anything touching there is uh, really irritating and, and painful still. So that's where that's at. Um, but I just take it, you know, a day at a time, and eventually this is going to heal. That's what I keep telling myself. Eventually it will heal. Now, I did buy a bunch of supplies and uh, I'm going to donate them to the uh, wound care place uh, because a lot of the rings and stuff that I bought, I found out my stoma is recessed. It won't work. I've tried cutting them in half and, and putting it in there to push it further. But what happens with the rings is they start breaking down. They swell up. Well, if you've got a stoma that's sticking out, that swelling up can be good because it tightens it. Well, in my case, when you have it under, it's it's going to occlude the stoma so it, it can't release things. So it, they are absolutely no good for me whatsoever. So all of those supplies that I got, I'm going to donate over there. And they can give them to people that can use them which is good. And like I said, I'm still trying to figure out what I can use um, that I can get from the VA. That is the $24,000 question. What is on the VA thing that I, it will actually work for me? Now, I tried to look up VA supplies online. I did find a little something, but if I read it right, they don't have any convex things at all, which is insane because the other ones will not work for me. Now, I'm hoping that I read it wrong or they only had partial things up there, but uh, we'll, we'll see. We'll see. Oh, my God. <laughs> I just want to get all this stuff done and over with so that I can get back on track with my life. You know, be able to be on the road and go on the adventures. Okay. So I am still counting the days until that's possible. But uh, it's got to come. You know, I guess every day's a day closer to finally getting out there again, but it's not happening in this moment. <laughs> we'll put it that way. <laughs> oh, Lord. So on that note, I'm going to leave that here, and we'll see you online.